Hi, I'm Debbie Cho with the Fujian Workers Alliance, a national coalition of worker-based organizations that are working to improve wages and working conditions for all workers along the entire food chain. The food chain is the nation's largest private sector employer. It includes almost 20 million workers, many of who are working low-wage jobs that offer little access to health benefits and few opportunities for advancement. Along with those issues, workers are also facing various forms of illegal discrimination. Data from a recent survey conducted by the Fujian Workers Alliance found that workers of color felt discriminated against at more than twice the rate reported by white workers. Our data, along with the Applied Research Center's report, The Color of Food, also found that workers of color are concentrated in the food system's lowest paying jobs and on average earn less than white workers. Like I said, he used to discriminate against pretty much everybody, if you think, other than the white people, because he was white. He used to discriminate against me, if you think about it, because he would pay me, like, okay, well, you get paid $100 a day. But then, how am I getting paid? I'm going to leave. I'm only getting paid $100, but then your, your, your boy's rich, and his, and, and his partner's getting paid almost $200 just for working trucks. I was being led to believe that I was going to get a promotion uh, to become a server at Darden Capital Grill, and it didn't happen. I was previously a server at another Darden establishment called Seasons 52 in Atlanta, where I was a server there for about a year and a half. Um, and I was shocked that after about three months of you know, back and forth with management at the Capitol Grill location that I still hadn't been promoted, which left me to believe that I was being discriminated against based on my sexual orientation and my race. I reported it to Darden um, that I was feeling as if I was being discriminated against at the time. And after that, the manager started to, you know, just like nitpick little stuff. Uh, which led me to believe that it was because of me speaking out. They started to pick on little things like facial hair or um, minuscule little things that eventually caused me to quit. In addition to discrimination based on race, sexual orientation, and complaints against management, gender discrimination is another key issue. As in most industries, women in the food system earn less than men for performing the same jobs. Un grupo de mujeres estábamos este uh, buscando trabajo para para corte de la uva. Mm -hmm. eh, nos dieron trabajo. La cosa que todo iba muy bien, pero cuando preguntamos del precio. Fue algo este, inesperable para todo el grupo de nosotros. Estamos haciendo lo mismo que los hombres. Dijeron, no, pero no les vamos a poder pagar el mismo precio que los, que los hombres, porque supuestamente las mujeres íbamos a ser menos que los hombres. Women also reported suffering from worse working conditions than men surveyed and being verbally abused at much higher rates. Both men and women also reported that women have the additional burden of being sexually harassed in the workplace. Me pasó una vez que se me acercaba el mayordomo y según me trataba de ayudar, pero en realidad él no quería ayudarme. Lo que quería es que, que me desviara, me quedara en camino para que se qued, me quedara yo sola con él. Pero como yo iba con mis papás, ellos me protegieron y no, había, no, no, no me pasó nada. Pero si hubiera sido otra persona, quizás sí lo hubiera pasado. El supervisor me dijo, ya no puedes trabajar, que tú no puedes hacer el mismo trabajo que hacen los hombres. Este, estás embarazada y ya no puedes. Y me despidió. Pues me sentí bien mal porque yo necesitaba mi trabajo y todos los años ahí duré en esa compañía como nueve años y se me hizo bien injusto porque yo necesitaba mi trabajo porque había dejado a mi hija en México, a la otra hija. Y pues yo necesito el trabajo realmente para mantenernos. Immigrant workers are also more vulnerable to exploitation in the food system, from verbal abuse to wage theft. 
There is a significant difference between the pay and median hours worked for undocumented versus documented workers. Definitivamente muchas veces, no solamente yo, sino la mayoría de mis compañeros que trabajamos en el trabajo. Una ocasión que yo pedí a, sí, yo yo precisamente pedí que que se me diera un aumento porque me había dejado solo la cocina. Me dijo que que no, él me miró y no sé si sonrió por que estaba feliz o o burlándose, pero dijo que no, porque ya era mucho lo que me pagaban. Uh, en ese tiempo eran ocho dólares. Uh -huh. Digo, ya era mucho lo que me pagaban y era mucho para una persona como yo lo que estaba ganando. Y, y uh, yo sabía que había otras personas uh, con documentos ahí también trabajando. Uh -huh. Personas de ellas mismas también, que hacían trabajo menos pesado que nosotros y más, uh, algo más sencillo y, y ganaba mucho más que nosotros. Lastly, workers are regularly discriminated against based on age. A retail worker who has been with Walmart for eight years now commutes close to 50 miles to get to work when there's a Walmart across the street from where he lives. His pay has increased yearly, but he says Walmart has found excuses not to transfer him to the closer location. I think the older people that's been with Walmart for a while are being discriminated against because they make uh, more higher wages than the people, new people that come in. Uh, that, that way they cut costs and uh, so by not uh, transferring to other stores, something like that, they hope they might leave um, or, or make it difficult for them to work in their department or wherever they're working at. So that way they hope they quit and then uh, hire new people that make a lot less money. For more findings from our report, The Hands That Feed Us, and to learn more about the 20 million food system workers in the U.S., visit foodchainworkers.org. Por falta de una pipita no anda mi tropo bailando.